In the process, it renamed itself from the annual National Conference on Digital Government Research to the annual International Conference on Digital Government Research. This change concerned much more than syntax. It signifies the expanding influence of digital technology uh, from its birthplace in the United States on how countries and societies around the world choose to identify and organize themselves. It also signifies that despite the variety of forms of government and governance impacted by digital transformation, the outcome is of enduring and common interest to researchers from around the world working together across cultural, thematic and political boundaries. Um, today, DGO is one of the leading global conference on digital government research and a recognized source of knowledge and innovation to guide countries in their digital government journeys. 24 years after the first DGO conference took place in Los Angeles in the year 2000, the conference arrives in Gdańsk, Poland, the city of freedom, prosperity, openness, and solidarity. Um, over its millennium-long history, Gdańsk was the scene of the first battle of the, first of the Second World War and the birthplace of the solidarity movement in the 1980s, which commenced the democratic transition um, in the Central and Eastern Europe. Today, it features a thriving economy and one of the highest safety and living standards in any city in Europe or worldwide. The conference is organized by the Digital Government Society and the Department of Informatics in Management at the Faculty of Management and Economics at Gdańsk University of Technology. The patrons are the Lech Wałęsa Institute Foundation, the Marshal of Pomorskie Wojewodzie, the President of the City of Gdańsk, and the Rector of Gdańsk University of Technology. The theme chosen for this conference is Together in the Unstable World, Digital Government and Solidarity, and it resonates well with the Gdańsk and Polish solidarity transition and touches on the understudied connection between government, technology, and social cohesion. The conference is part of the global conversation on the future of digital government. We welcome and appreciate your contribution to this conversation. Thank you for your attention. Now I have the pleasure to invite Professor Maran Janssen, uh, Professor of ICT and Governance at Delft University of Technology, the Netherlands, the President of the Digital Government Society and Conference Co-Chair to present his welcome address. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Thomas, uh, also for having it, us here in this uh, beautiful uh, location and in such a well-organized uh, situation, because this, it was not simple to arrive uh, at this place. Before I go on to that, the Digital Government uh, Society, it's all about improving the government. That's what we are doing, in fact, and we are looking at technology, the role of technologies, and ensuring that at the end we will do things better in a more effective and efficient way, but also about democracy, about ensuring that we uh, improve it. Uh, when I look at the Digital Government Society, well, I was elected as the president two years ago, but we have a whole board of people, and some of the board members are also here. So please feel free to contact them always when you have a question, and also the local uh, organization uh, for that. We have a number of chapters, the Digital Government Society, and we already had a Chinese uh, chapter, and China is very important uh, for us. Last year, the new chapter was introduced by the working group uh, 8.5 in ICT and public uh, administration. So they have also their own conference, and now, in fact, we have one big society because we now have two conferences, the Digital Government Society Conference and the IFIP EGOF uh, Conference, and they complement each other, I think. International, Europe, the number of people. And I hope we will have more chapters also in the future 
because next year we will have uh, DGO in uh, Taiwan, the year after we will have uh, DGO in uh, Brazil, and also when I think about the chapters, also a Brazilian chapter would also fit next to the Chinese uh, uh, chapter. So I hope I also inspire you a little bit uh, uh, in this way. When we started this conference, uh, the organization, one year ago, it was unstable times. And I remember uh, at one stage we couldn't uh, uh, yeah, organize it in the initial location. And then I contacted Thomas uh, Janowski uh, sitting over here. And Thomas was saying, well, give me one week. And within one week he was uh, back and said, well, we arranged everything uh, already. The local organization and, and uh, the way to do it. So I'm really proud uh, uh, to be here and uh, that we are able to do it in uh, this uh, way. And I think, and that was already said yesterday, one of the best ideas was selecting Gdansk. Because when you look at what happened over here, solidarity uh, was born over here. The transformation of Europe, I think, of maybe even the whole world was transformed uh, over here by looking at uh, how we, well we are doing now. And that's quite uh, impressive uh, for uh, being here. I remember 35 years ago being here in Pola, Poland, in uh, Warsaw, and I saw uh, the president at that uh, time. You were, we were, you were waving uh, at us, and I was really impressed by that. I was a little kid at that time, I think 17 years or something like that, but that changed the world. So I'm so happy to be here in this uh, way. Well, here I want to close uh, my uh, talk over here. Thank you for the organization over here. All the people also sitting over there also and all the other people who make this happen because there were really a lot of people who make this uh, very uh, successful uh, over here. And thank you for having us here. Thank you very much, Marijn. Uh, now we have the, I have the pleasure to invite Professor Barbara Wicke, Vice Rector at Gdańsk University of Technology, to present her welcome address. Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, uh, it gives me a great pleasure to welcome you uh, to our beautiful city of Gdańsk as well as to Gdańsk University of Technology, one of the best three in Poland. It is a great honor and satisfaction for me and our academic community to host the prestigious 24th Annual International Conference on Digital Government Research. And here I would, I would like to give a warm welcome to our guest of honor, Mr. Lech Wałęsa, former president of the Republic of Poland, leader of the Solidarity Movement, and the Nobel Peace Prize laureate, who kindly agreed to share with us his thoughts. Mr. President. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, because uh, spectacular images um, you are going to see are worth thousands of words. Now, without too much introduction, I would like to invite you to follow a short virtual walk around our university. May I have the video, please? Thank you. 
city, we attach great importance to freedom, equality, dignity, human rights, and democracy. Gdańsk is the cradle of, of solidarity, a social movement that in the late 1980s led to the fall of communism in Poland, as well in the Central and Eastern Europe. Thanks to the courage and the fighting spirit of the leader of Solidarity, our honorable guest, Lech Wałęsa, and the determination of the members of the movement, we are now able to meet today in the city that is free and open, open to everyone, uh, the city that is dynamically developing and attracting young and talented people, not only from Poland, but from all over the world. Our city of Gdańsk and the Gdańsk University of Technology in it have made great developmental leap that resulted in the fact that we are now considered the second leading research facility in Poland, also finding our place third time in the row in the Shanghai ranking of the best universities in the world. Together with Medical University of Gdańsk and, Gdańsk, uh, and University of Gdańsk, uh, we have created the Fahrenheit University, the first academic union that is in the near future shall be formally transform, transformed into a federation. Uh, on a daily basis, uh, we try to give our employees and students the best possible conditions for work and development. We also constantly invest in our infrastructure. In April this year, we opened the most modern IT center in Poland with a supercomputer uh, possessing great computing power, providing fantastic opportunities for the de uh, de development of science. The name of the computer, Kraken, was chosen in a vote by the residents of the entire tree city. We are currently building uh, the Eco Innovation Center um, at, Gdańsk, at Gdańsk University of Technology, which will become one of the most important green centers in the country for the development and implementation of modern technologies in the field of environmental protection and ecology. It is worth adding that as a technical scientific facility, uh, we have been very active in the sphere of interdisciplinary projects, including the domain of digital transformation, contributing to the de development of public administration. That is the theme of this conference. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of our entire academic community, I would like to thank you for your attendance at this conference. This is a sign of recognition of a place that Gdańsk University of Technology takes on the scientific map of Europe, and for us motivation to further development. We shall do our best to make your stay here pleasant, and memorable so that you remember both Gdańsk and Gdańsk University of Technology with pleasure. I wish you productive debates, great impressions, and making many new contacts that will contribute to the fruitful cooperation in the future. Thank you very much for being here, and may the 24th Annual International Conference on Digital Government Research begin. Thank you very much, Professor Wikiel. Now I have a great honor of introducing President Lech Wałęsa, uh, former President of the Republic of Poland, leader of the Solidarity Movement, Nobel Peace Prize laureate, statesman and dissident. I have the honor of inviting um, the President to present the opening lecture at the DGO conference after the lecture. There will be time to ask questions. Please join me in welcoming our distinguished guest, President Lech Wałęsa.
Panie i Panowie, Szanowni Państwo. Ladies and gentlemen. Bardzo dziękuję za zaproszenie. Thank you very much for the invitation. Dziękuję za to, że mogę zabrać głos w tak szanownym gronie. Thank you for being able to speak to such a renowned uh, crowd of people. Wiecie o tym, że jestem rewolucjonistą. As you know, I'm a revolutionary. Rewolucja, na której czele stałem, dokonała wielkich przeobrażeń. A revolution which I have led has transformed our world. Ale chodziło tylko o to, by zburzyć stary porządek Europy i świata, po to, by zbudować nowy. But it was all about only about a destruction of the old world order in order to build a new Europe and a new world order. Więc moje pokolenie wykonało wielką robotę. So my generation have managed to achieve a great deal of work. Płynęliśmy We've, na rozwiązanie Związku Radzieckiego. We have influenced the dissolving of the Soviet Union. Układu Warszawskiego. The dissolving of the Warsaw Pact. Wycofanie wszelkich wojsk od wojny drugiej stacjonującej w różnych krajach. The withdrawal of various armies that were stationed in various countries since World War II. Pomogliśmy zjednoczyć Niemcy. We have helped to reunify Germany. Ale wszystko to było burzenie starego porządku. But all of that we can describe as a destruction of the old order of the affairs in the world. Po to, żeby następne pokolenie zbudowało coś mądrzejszego niż za, małe, za naszego pokolenia bywało. It all has been done in order to be able to create a new world order for the next generations. Stąd wielka prośba do państwa z mojej strony. Therefore, I have a great request to all of you. Zróbcie wszystko oprócz swoich problemów, które chcecie rozwiązywać. Please do all that is possible apart from all the problem solving you are involved in. By zatwierdzić sukces mojego pokolenia. But I expect you to do all that is possible to confirm the victories, the successes of my generation. Ale on będzie tylko wtedy, kiedy temu pokoleniu następnemu, następne pokolenie sukces odniesie. But our success, the success of my generation would be valid only if the next generation will also score a success in creating this new world order. Jeśli to się nie uda, będą przeklinać nasze zwycięstwo i mnie osobiście. If you fail to do that, to confirm the meaning of our victory, then the next generation are going to curse us and our generation. Cała sztuka, moim zdaniem, praktyka polega na tym, by dobrze odczytać wyzwania czasów, w których przyszło nam żyć. I think that in my opinion, the crucial thing is to read the signs of our times. Teoretycy, wtedy, kiedy walczyliśmy, mówili mi, że to jest niemożliwe. All the theoreticians at the time when we were fighting kept telling me that what we want to achieve is impossible. A praktycy wraz ze mną mówili, że to musi być możliwe. And the people of practical mind like myself kept telling them, the experts, that it has to be possible. To znaczy, dobrze odczytaliśmy wyzwania czasu. It means we have succeeded in reading correctly the signs given by our times. Rozwój techniczny cywilizacji mówił, że macie złe, złe zorganizowanie świata. The technical development, the technology acquired at our time was showing clearly that the solution adapted at my times were all wrong. Państwa, bloki, kraje, granice nieprzemuszczalne hamowały rozwój świata. Uh, the states organized in political blocks the borders that were strict and unpermittable. Those were all the factors blocking the development of the world. Dobrze odczytaliśmy i usunęliśmy wiele przeszkód. But we have read the signs of the times correctly and czy, we have removed many obstacles. Czy można było więcej? 
Was it possible to achieve more? Widzieliśmy to, co więcej, co należy zrobić. We have seen what more has got to be done. Widzieliśmy Rosję i Chiny. We have seen Russia and China. Którym trzeba było pomóc zrobić też porządek. That should be also helped in bringing in a new order. Ale wielcy tego świata, widząc, że Polacy chcą tego dokonać. But the very important persons of all over the world, seeing that Poles are suggesting further changes, Zatrzymali nas have stopped us. Słusznie, że to już zbyt niebezpieczne, to, co byśmy chcieli zrobić. They have stopped us in our process of changes, and they have rightly suggested that what we would like to do is, in fact, very dangerous. A więc powtarzam moją prośbę do was. That's why I repeat my request to all of you. Widząc, że zmieniają się za naszego życia epoki. As you see the eras changing while we are on this earth, while we are arrive. Z epoki interesów państwa, kraje, bloki przechodzimy na kontynenty i na globalizację. From the era of separate continents, national states, political blocks, we are transferring to the new era of globalization, centralization. I to jest wyższa konieczność. And this is a, a state of emergency, a state of higher development. I nasze pokolenie to zaczyna. And our generation is starting that. Zastanawiałem się jako rewolucjonista, jakie, jakie problemy stanęły przed nami, przed tym pokoleniem. I was thinking as a revolutionary what sort of problems our generation is still facing. Zdefiniowałem je w trzech punktach. And I have defined them in three points. Ocencie, czy dobrze, czy źle, a jeśli źle, to poprawcie. Uh, you can judge for yourself whether I have defined them correctly and if you judge that my assessment is wrong, you can always improve it. Pierwszy problem, który zauważam. The first problem I notice to przechodząc z państwek, z krajów, z bloków na kontynenty i na globalizację, pytanie jest, co ma nas łączyć w tym większym zorganizowaniu? The first question is, why we are going away from separate national countries towards the organization on a bigger scale, at least continental and in some aspects global, we have to think what should unite us in our actions. A więc jaki fundament położymy pod to nowe rozwiązania? So what kind of foundation can be laid for our future building, construction of the new world order? I kiedy takie pytanie stawiam na różnych spotkaniach, and when I ask that sort of question on various meetings, pojawiają się dwa pomysły przyszłego fundamentu, które ma nas łączyć. There are usually two concepts of those future foundations that were supposed to unite us. Połowa świata chce budować na wolnościach, wolnym rynku i prawie jako fundamencie. The half of the world would like to build this new world order on uh, freedoms, uh, free market economy and law. Druga połowa odpowiada niedobry pomysł. And the second half of the population says it's not a good idea. Najpierw powinniśmy uzgodnić, uzgodnić wartości, jaki będzie, jakimi będziemy się kierować. They think that it is necessary first to establish the set of values that would be guiding us in our future construction. Jak to nam się uda, to dopiero wolny rynek, prawo i niech to wszystko kręci się. And only after setting that set of common values, we can uh, concentrate on freedoms, free market economy and legal system and let it all oczywiście start acting. Oczywiście mówię to na skróty. Of course, it's a, it's a real shortcut what I'm presenting here. Ale jeśli nam się to uda, będzie drugi problem, który zdefiniowałem. But if we basically manage to achieve that, we will have another problem, another aspect to solve. A jaki system ekonomiczny zaproponujemy kontynentalizacji i globalizacji? Uh, 
and what kind of economic system we would change, uh, we would uh, choose for that stage of globalization and uh, organizing continents. Jak dobrze wiecie, są dwa wielkie systemy ekonomiczne. As you well know, there are two great uh, economic systems. Komunistyczny i kapitalistyczny. Communism and socialist. Teoretycznie lepiej wygląda komunistyczne. Uh, sorry, communism and capitalism. In, in theory, communism looks much better. Stąd na zachodzie młodzież się nabiera na komunizm. Therefore, in the West, a lot of young people actually gets closer to the communist ideas. Bo on ładnie wygląda na papierze. Because they look nice on paper. Te sprawiedliwości, te równości zapisane. Uh, the communism has a lot of uh, justice and equality written into it. Tylko, wie, tylko nie wiedzą o tym, że to jest nie do zrealizowania. What they don't know is the fact that communism is not possible to be put into practice. Próba realizacji źle się kończy. And each attempt to implement communism actually ended very badly. Więc proponuję odrzućcie komunizm. So I suggest you drop the idea of communism. Zostaje kapitalizm. So what we are left with is capitalism. Kapitalizm dobrze wygląda, ale w tamtej epoce państwa, kraje, bloki. Uh, capitalism looked right, but in the old era of separate national states, organized in political blocks. Rywalizacja, kto kogo za ile. <coughs> and it was suggesting rivalry, who will prevail, who will earn more. Często ta realizacja nie była taka, taka czysta. And quite often the rivalry was not really clean, was not really fair. Ona powodowała w tej rywalizacji, ktoś nazwał wyścig szurów między państwami. And that rivalry between states was sometimes called a red race. To powodowało bezrobocia, wielu ludzi nie wytrzymywali tego tempa rywalizacji. And that rivalry resulted quite often in losing jobs, in remaining unemployed. Ten nowy kapitalizm, który, na który jesteśmy skazani. This new sort of capitalism to which we have to prepare powinien zacho zachować wolny rynek should keep free market economy a wszystko inne trochę poprawić but all the rest all the other conditions should be a little bit improved a bezrobotnych z tamtego systemu odszukać i do roboty zagonić and people who are unemployed uh, the result of the old capitalist system we should find them all and make them work again. Oczywiście dobrze zorganizowane, bo w tym nowym systemie można to zrobić. And of course we have to organize the job market properly and in the new system it is all possible. W starej, w starej rywalizacji nie, nie można było tego dokonać. In the old system uh, concentrating on rivalry it was not possible to do it right. To jest ten drugi problem, który zauważam. That's the second problem I notice. I trzeci problem. And the third problem. Jak sobie poradzić z demagogią, populizmem i oszustwami polityków w tej skali większej? And the third problem is how to deal with the populism, demagoguery and plain lies of the politicians on the global scale. Przy zauważeniu, że do końca XX wieku and we have to note that up till the end of the 20th century wszystkie narody nie przyznawały się, ale tak po cichu miały Pana Boga. All the nations, even if they didn't admit it openly, but all the nations had some idea of God behind them. On w świadomościach społeczeństwa był. And in the consciousness of the societies, God had played prominent role. Odeszliśmy od tego. And we have somehow moved away from Baliśmy that. Baliśmy się komuny i Związku Sowieckiego. We were afraid of the communism and we were <coughs> afraid of the Soviet Union. Poradziliśmy sobie z tym. And we have dealt with it. 
Jest powstaje pytanie, jak utrzymać narody, które nie mają żadnych hamulców? So now we are left with the question, how to control the nations that have no fears? To są problemy, które ja rewolucjonista po tamtym et etapie zauważam. Those are the problems that I, as a revolutionary, I notice as, as the problems left from the previous times. Zrobię wszystko, by te pokolenie, te, które prowadzicie dzisiaj, odniosło wielki sukces. I will do all in my power to, to help your generation, the generation that is now leading the world, bo, bo ten, achieve success. Bo ten sukces zatwierdzi sukces mojego pokolenia. But because only your success can confirm the success of my generation. To tyle, co chciałem Państwu narzucić ze swojego, swoim głosem. That's what I wanted to tell you in my own voice, from my own heart. I oddaję się do dyspozycji, jeśli Państwo sobie tego życzą. And now it's up to you to ask questions jed... that I'm at your disposal. Jedna uwaga. One note. Ja się nie wymądrzam i nie pouczam. Uh, I'm not uh, trying to show myself as a wise man and try to teach you something. Tylko jako prowadzący tamten etap walki jestem zobowiązany mówić, po co nam to było. But as the leader of our part of fight for the new world order, I'm obliged to explain what for we were doing that. Udało nam się bardzo wiele. And we have succeeded in achieving quite a lot. Ale to było tylko burzenie starego porządku. But all that we have done was just a destruction of the old world Chciałbym order. Chciałbym widzieć nowy, porządkujący się świat. And now we would like to see a new i to, well organized world. I to wcale nie jest trudne. And it's not as difficult as it may seem. Tylko że taki potencjał waszych myśli, możliwości jest bardzo potrzebny w tym momencie. But your potential, the potential of your research, of your thoughts, it's quite necessary at that stage. Tworzy się nowa epoka. We are in the process of creating a new era. Po tamtej brudnej epoce nikt nikomu nie wierzy. After the old era full of dirty moments and ideas. Musimy się nawzajem przekonać, aby zacząć budować. We don't have much trust in each other. We have to convince ourselves that we can be trusted and then we can start building something. A więc te czasy nazywam nowa epoka. So I call that times a new era. Epoka słowa. The era of the word. Dyskusji, jak to ma wyglądać. It's the era during which we should discuss how our new world should look like. Wszystkie zorganizowania, partie, wszystko nie pasuje z tamtych czasów na dzisiejsze czasy. All the organizational rules coming from the old times, all the uh, structures are not suitable for the current era. Patrzcie na to, co głoszą. Lewica jest dziś bardziej prawicowa jak prawica i odwrotnie. Uh, let's look at the political party system. The left wing parties seem to be more to the right than the right wing parties and the other way around. A najlepiej wyglądają partie chrześcijańskie. And the Christian parties are particularly strange. Krzyczą o chrześcijaństwa, tam nie ma ani jednego wierzącego. They shout loudly about Christianity, at the same time they lack a single real believer. Macie zdefiniować na nowo lewica, prawica. You have to redefine what is political left, what is political right. I musicie zauważyć, że tylko jedno zorganizowanie mamy na dziś dobre. And you have to notice that only one set of organizational rules is really functioning in our world. Przepisy o ruchu drogowym. And the, those are traffic regulations. They a, are correct. A świat wygląda, jakbyśmy zdjęli znaki i przepisy. Tak dzisiejszy świat wygląda. And the rest of our modern world look as if we have taken all the traffic lights and all the rules out of the streets of a city. Stare nie pasują, a nowych nie ma. So the old rules are not suitable. They don't fit. And I, we like the new ones. I nie może być na dzisiaj. And the problem is, we can't have new rules just bo, for today. Bo to musi być wydyskutowane. Because we have 
to discuss and agree on the new set of regulations. And at the moment, the demagogues and populists are leading in that discussion. Stąd też po raz trzeci proszę was włączcie się do tego dyskusji, jak ten świat ma wyglądać. Therefore, I ask you for the third time, join that discussion. How the world should look like? Bo inaczej podpalą nam Europę i świat demagodzy i populiści. Because otherwise, the demagogues and populists can set our world, our Europe. I takiej dyskusji, i takich osiągnięć Państwu życzę. And I wish you all to have a really fruitful discussion about all the most important problems of the world. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President, uh, for your lecture. Now we are opening the floor for questions from the audience. Uh, please raise your hand, introduce yourself before asking the question. Good morning, President Lech Walensa. Um, I'm Sukumar Ganapati from Florida International University. So um, my question to you is about the conversation of peace that you were bringing in. How do we start a conversation about peace in a context of uh, conflict and war, especially looking at uh, what we were talking about in an unstable world that we are seeing now? Hey, proszę o tylko trudne, skomplikowane pytania. I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, for only a complicated and difficult questions. Bo w tym gronie na pewno znajdziemy najlepsze rozwiązania. Because in among ourselves we can find definitely in that respectful group the most suitable solutions. Ja sobie to przywłaszczam. And then I can take them those solutions from you. Idę na następne spotkanie, się popisuję mądrością and swoją. Then I go to the next meeting and I can show off how wise I am. A więc dostarczcie mi mądrości. So let's deliver that wisdom to me. Natomiast konkretnie wracając do tego pytania. But coming back to your question. Na takie pytania i podobne nikt nie ma dobrych odpowiedzi, ja nie mam. For such a question and the questions like that no one, including myself, has real good answer. Miał, miał if I had an answer to that question, I would get a second Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> Mo na tym problemy. But on the basis of that question, we can notice the problems. Otóż musimy zauważyć, że na początku XXI wieku widać dwie koncepcje rozwoju świata. Uh, we can see that in the beginning of the 21st century, we can see the two different ways of development. Świat był zawsze podzielony. The world was always divided. Ale rozwijając się, nabierając mądrości, powiększał swoje wpływy, oddziaływania. But in the process of development, the world uh, actually, the, those two approaches towards words were actually acquiring more influence in certain regions. Do końca XX wieku prawie wszystkie państwa, narody powstawały przez włączania słabszych, często siłowe. Up till the end of the 20th century, almost all the nations that were enlarging were actually enlarging their territory by incorporating smaller nations, quite often by force. Na dziś zostały Chiny i Rosja w tej starej koncepcji powiększać wpływy, przywłaszczyć Ukrainę. And for the modern times, modern day, only two countries remained 
within that sphere of ideas, Russia and China. In Russia, we can see that they are trying to enlarge their territory by acquiring Ukraine. I ten drugi pomysł. But we have a various, a second idea that is different. Przez Unię, przez NATO, przez ONZ, demokratycznie, wolnościowo powiększajmy wpływy. We can enlarge our sphere of influence in a in an other way, in the way peaceful by by agreement of all people who want to enlarge their structures like United Nations, like European Union, like Organization of United Nations. Those are volunteer organization by which nations themselves organize in a bigger structure. I dla mnie jest pytanie ten, o ten pokój. Która koncepcja do pokoju będzie prowadzić? And that in a way answers your question. Which idea of organizing bigger structures, which idea is more peaceful and leads towards the world peace? Ja stawiam na tą nową, pokojową, demokratyczną. And I actually am for that democratic, peaceful way of organization. Moje pokolenie pokazało, jak należy walczyć. And my generations have, my generation have has shown the way how to fight for that democratic, peaceful solution. How to fight for peace? Solidarność. Solidarity. My nie mieliśmy żadnego czołgu, nawet łuku nie mieliśmy. We haven't got a single tank. We haven't even got a bow. I mieliśmy gorszą sytuację, bo był Związek Radziecki Układ Warszawski. And our situation seemed to be much worse because there was Soviet Union in full might and there was a, a, a Warsaw Pact. I dlatego też należy walczyć podobnie jak my walczyliśmy. So we have to fight for peace in a similar way in which solidarity was fighting. Mniej rakietami, mniej atomem, mniej czołgami. Less with rockets, less with nuclear weapons, less with tanks. A bardziej finezyjnie, argumentami, pokojowo. We have to fight in a more uh, subtle way uh, with discussions, compromise with some sort of negotiations. W każdym kraju powinny powstać radiostacje, gazety, ulotki, wszystko, aby bez przerwy przekonywać każdego Rosjanina. In every country we have to organize free press, free radio, free media, free leaflets that would actually convince each Russian person on earth. Człowieku, jutro cię Putin do wojska pobierze, pojutrze zginiesz, kochany Rosjaninie. Dear Russian, think about it. Next day you might be drafted by Putin to the army. You might be killed. To nie jest winien Stalin ani Putin. In fact, it's not Stalin or Putin that are guilty. To jest system polityczny, który to powoduje. It's political system that is actually causing them, creating situations in which they are able to emerge. Ja ostrzegałem przed Gorbaczowem świat. I was warning the world against Gorbaczow. Robię przestrojkę głosność. He was doing przestrojka and głosność. Zachód mu uwierzył. And the West trusted him. A nie zmienił systemu politycznego. But he didn't change the political system in Russia. Odbudował Rosję. He rebuilt Russia. Uzależnił Zachód. And he made West dependent on Russia. I wiedział, że w tym systemie będzie jakiś Stalin, Putin, który spróbuje odzyskać Związek Radziecki. And he knew very well that in such a political system, one day would emerge a Stalin or a Putin that would be able to try to recreate Soviet Union and gain more territory. Musimy wszyscy przekonać każdego Rosjanina, to będzie trwało. We have all work on confirming that truth to every Russian person on earth and of course it would take time. Że to jest dla, dla nich, my dla nich walczymy, a nie dla siebie, dla siebie też, ale przy okazji. And 
we have to convince them that we are fighting for them, for their freedom, of course for our benefit too, but it's only occasionally that we are fighting also for ourselves. Nawet jeśli dzisiaj wygra Ukraina i pomożemy wygrać jej. Even if Ukraine wins today and we all help them win. Za 10 lat Rosja znów podniesie się, znów zaatakuje. In 10 years Russia would stand up again and attack again. Stąd przekonajcie wszędzie wobec, że należy zmienić taktykę walki. So please try to convince everyone that we should change our strategy of fight. Ja za te głoszenie tych tekst dostałem 5 milionów dolarów za moją głowę od Rosjan. And for preaching what I preach now, for preaching that approach, that new approach towards Russia, I was now, uh, I get, they, they have awarded five million dollars, dollars uh, 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 ransom for my head if, if somebody kills me. Po naszym spotkaniu będzie 10. So after our meeting it would be 10 million dollars. <laughs> Tak, tak widzę dochodzenie do pokoju. That's how I see the approach towards peace. Mamy największą szansę na porządek z, Ro z Rosją i z Chinami, zrobienie porządku z Rosją i z Chinami. We have the greatest chance to put Russia and China in order. Nigdy świat nie był tak zorganizowany przeciwko takim rozwiązaniom jak stosują Rosja i Chiny jak dzisiaj. Never the world was as concentrated and united in the idea of changing uh, the ways in which Russia and China try to influence the Jeśli world. Walkę, szansę, if we spoiled that way of international fight against uh, war monitoring, uh, the future generation would never forgive us. I to będzie pokój, jeśli tego dokonamy. So we can achieve peace if we succeed in that fight. Jak mówiłem Państwu, ja się za to zabrałem w tamtym czasie. As I've told you already, I have approached that problem in my times, during my term as a president. I dobrze mi szło, ale przyjechała Pani Olbrand, przekonała mnie, że nie mogę dalej iść w tym kierunku. And I was quite uh, successful on my way. Unfortunately, Mrs. Albright arrived from Washington and convinced me that actually I can't continue in that direction safely. To była wielka, bardzo mądra polityczka. She was a great and very wise politician. Bo bym doprowadził do nieszczęścia. Because I might have taken a road towards disaster. Ale to może w następnym uzupełnia. But maybe I will explain it a little bit later. Proszę Państwa, Proszę następne pytanie. Dobra. Next question. Po tempo, tempo, jak chcę najwięcej zyskać. <laughs> Wszystkie trzy na raz. Proszę od, od lewej strony. <laughs> Dzień dobry, Katarzyna Polańska, Uniwersytet Carleton w Kanadzie. Dziękuję bardzo za przemówienie. Moje pytanie jest na temat zaufania i zapytam po angielsku, żeby wszyscy zrozumieli. So my question is about trust. Um, you have mentioned that in your speech and in the current digital era, trust is extremely important, especially as we're dealing with misinformation and disinformation. Uh, what are your recommendations and thoughts about how to build trust amongst people, especially in the digital world? Szanowni Państwo, już 40 lat temu mówiliśmy, ja mówiłem. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, already 40 years ago we were talking about it and I was talking że about powstaje it. nowa epoka w świecie. I was talking about a new era that is approaching. I w tej epoce będą potrzebni przywódcy, państwa przywódcze. And that in that new era we would need the countries, the states that would lead. Globalne sprawy uważałem, że, że przejmą, przejmie Stany Zjednoczone i przygotuje rozwiązania w tych wszystkich tematach, które zgłaszamy. Uh, I was sure that actually the United States of America would lead the world 
in all those main subjects that I explained before. W Europie Niemcy, Francja, Włochy. And in Europe, I was sure that the leadership role would be taken by Germany, France, and Italy. Przygotują w każdym temacie ten, który dzisiaj nas nurtuje, po dwa rozwiązania. I was sure that they would work on suggesting for the solution of each one of those three problems I've described at least two possible solutions for each problem. Wyobrażam sobie, że z waszego grona i podobnego grona wybiorą paru mądrych ludzi. I have expected that from people like you they would manage to find out a group of wise people. Dają proste zadanie. And they would give them a simple task. Zróbcie spis tematów zagadnień, które nie mieszczą się w tym państwach w krajach. And they would give them a simple task of uh, making a list of problems, of subjects that cannot be solved on the level of a small national state. Jak zrobicie taki spis, to podzielcie, które możemy zostawić na kontynentach, bo to wystarczy, a które już musimy przejść na globalne rozwiązania. And that that group would actually divide the questions into the problems that could be solved on the continental level and those that are too big for continental level and have to be solved globally. Jak to zrobicie, trzecie zadanie macie. And if you manage to do that, you can go to the third problem. Zastanówcie się, jakie potrzebne są struktury, programy i pieniądze, by przygotować rozwiązania te, w tych tematach. And the third stage would be to find out what sort of structures, what sort of organization, and what sort of money is necessary to solve each one of the problems suggested. Praktycznie to nie jest trudne. In practice, it shouldn't be so difficult. Na przykład w Europie mamy problem z Unią Europejską. For example, in Europe we have a problem with the European Union. Prosiłem, słuchajcie, przygotujcie dwa rozwiązania. So I ask, please prepare two solutions. Jedno rozwiązanie remontujemy, poprawiamy starą Unię. Uh, one solution is suggested as such that we actually uh, try to repair, restore the old Union. Jeśli się da poprawiać. If it's possible to improve the structures of the European Union, it's best to improve it. A jak nie, to macie drugie rozwiązanie. And if it's not possible, pozwólcie Węgrom, Polakom, niech rozwalą Unię. Let the nations like Hungary, Poland destroy the European Union as it is. Zatrzymajcie zorganizowanie. Uh, let's stop the organizational efforts. I pięć minut po rozwaleniu zaproponujcie nową Unię. And five minutes later, after the dissolving of the old European Union, you create a new one. I ogłoście wszystkich przyjmujemy do nowych Unii, kto chce. And once again, we can, we can announce that to that new European Union, anyone, every country can join again. Nawet tych, co rozwalili Unię Starą. Even those countries that have uh, dis dissolved and demolish the old union. Tylko muszą wszyscy, którzy chcą wstąpić, zauważyć, że na drzwiach wiszą dwie tablice. But anyone who wants to join that new European Union has to notice that at the entrance door to that new union there are two tablets. Na jednej tablicy pisze witamy was, zostajecie ileś tam praw. On one tablet we have the inscription that uh, we welcome you all in the new union. You have received, uh, you are entitled to uh, a defined set of uh, entitlements. Na, na drugiej tablicy dostajecie ileś witamy, dostajecie ileś obowiązku. But on the other tablet we have <coughs> not rights, not privileges, but duties. No ustawcie prawa obowiązki tak, by takie wygłupy jak dziś nie miały miejsca. It should be simple to organize the rights and duties in such a way that it wouldn't be possible to do such fooling around as it's possible right now. Czy to trudne? Is it difficult? A w ekonomii. And same in the economy. Podnieście się do góry, popatrzcie, co Pan Bóg dał w tej Europie różnym państwom. 
let's look from above at Europe and check what God has given to various countries in the European I to, co Pan Bóg dał, niech oni w tym kierunku pracują. And according to what, uh, what are those gifts of God given to various nations, they can concentrate in their economy on exploiting what they've got. Na przykład, Pan Bóg dał dobre winogrona Francuzom. For example, the great grapes that were God given uh, to France. No, niech robią wino, będziemy pić. Let, let France produce wines and we will all going to drink it. Niech się specjalizują. Let them specialize. Włochom dał wielkie zabytki. In Italy, they, they have great monuments of the past. No, niech robią wszystko, będziemy jeździć, zjedzać. Okay, let them restore them and we will all go there as tourists. W Polsce trochę ma, mało Pan Bóg dał. Poland actually was not given so much. Dał nam trzy miesiące lata. We have just three months of the summer. Jest na lecie, nie zarobimy. So we can't earn enough, uh, we can't earn enough during the summer. Dał nam kiepską ziemię. We have not the best uh, soil. Więc na rolu też nie zarobimy. So on agriculture again we might not earn as much as we would like. Ale jedną rzecz nam dobrą dał. But we have one very good work. Uh, Środek Europy. We are right in the middle of Europe. Tu będzie najbliżej, najlepiej Berlin, Moskwa. It's the best uh, place to be on this transitional stage between Moscow and Berlin. Północ, południe. And also between south to jest and bog north. Pana Boga. And this is a richness Więc from God. 15 pasów w jedną stronę, 15 w drugą. So we will have great highways. I całe oprzyrządowanie. And we have uh, all the infrastructure, the infrastructure that's I necessary for that. And we need that sort of planning from the leaders of this world. I keep telling it to the United States, to Germany, and they don't want to take up the leadership. Wtedy, kiedy walczyłem, te Stany nie bardzo chciały się włączać do naszej walki. At the time when I was fighting communism again, uh, the United States were very reluctant to join in our fight. Dopiero się włączyły, jak zagroziłem Stanom Zjednoczonym. They have joined our fight when I threatened them. Powiedziałem, że jeszcze trochę, jak nie włączycie się, to ja wypowiem, wypowiem wam wojnę i szybko się poddam. Będziecie musieli mi pomóc. That I have told them that if they fail to help us, I would uh, declare the state of war against the United States of America, and then I would quickly surrender, and they would have to help us. And then they, they joined a little bit. Następne. Next question, please. Hi, thanks, um, Kilian from University of uh, Zurich. Thanks for your talk, and thanks for, for doing the right thing during your life. Um, I would like to ask, um, in our current political systems, which is largely based on parties and left or uh, right, it feels that, that parties rather split um, the, the nations in, into, into two or multiple camps. Uh, how would you um, prevent that and what is, in your opinion, the role of uh, digital technologies uh, in democracy? Jeszcze jedno, jeszcze jedno, jeszcze jedna część pytania. E, jaką rolę pan prezydent widzi dla tej e, cyfryzowanej administracji? Jaką to może mieć rolę? Szanowni państwo, stan obecny pan dzisiaj dobrze określa. E, you have defined the present role of the parties very correctly. Z tego startujemy, a wasza mądrość ma, ma pomóc nam uporządkować to wszystko. Uh, that is the point from which we are starting, and it's your wisdom that is supposed to correct it all. Musicie zauważyć, że do końca XX wieku to był państwo kraj, go najważniejsza struktura. You have to realize that up till the end of the 20th century, 
the national state was the most important structure. Technology, even pandemia, showed that it was too little for these tematów. And the development of technology and even the pandemic itself has shown that that structure of the national state is too small to solve any of the real problems. It's the same structure you have in the United States. They work well. And the old political structure, as you described them, they really are malfunctioning. But those are from another epoch. Because they come from a different era. Nam los dał zakończyć tam tam epokę, tam te błędy i zacząć nowe rozwiązania. And the fate has given us a chance to. Thank you. Uh, has given us a chance to change it to. Uh, let us find new, uh, more modern solutions. Tylko na razie na dzisiaj taki potencjał, jak ja tu widzę, nie włączył się do tworzenia tego nowego. But as I see it, such a potential as I see in you here has not been joined in the discussion how to solve the real problems. Uwierzcie w demokrację i w konieczność zmian. Uh, you have to believe in democracy and in the necessity of the changes. Macie przykład na mnie. You have an example in me. Ja przemawiam do takich tęgich umysłów. I'm talking to such bright minds as yours. Elektryk, robotnik. An electrician, a ale, worker. Ale uwierzyłem w moc. But I have believed in the power of faith. Gdybym ja miał wasze wykształcenie, wasze pieniądze. If I had your education, your money. Dziesięć nobli bym miał. I would have Ten Nobel Prize. Tylko żeby, żeby wam się chciało chcieć, to piękny świat będziemy mieć. But if you would, uh, Mr. President, use a very poetic phrase in Polish, but if you have um, the, de the determination and will to achieve the changes, then we might have all have a beautiful, beautiful world. I po to się zgodziłem z wami spotkać. And that's why I have agreed to meet with you. Żeby was uprosić. To ask you. Tworzy się nowa wielka rzecz. The new great things are coming to be. Mieliśmy szczęście. We were very lucky. Pokojowo rozwaliliśmy stary niedobry porządek świata. We have destroyed in a peaceful way without violence. Uh, a terrible world order. I to wam się udało. And we've managed to no, do ale that. Ale po to, żeby zbudować coś. But we have destroyed it in order to build something. No, już by to, no właśnie. Budujemy czy nie? So are we building all together or not? Ja już się kończę, mam 80 lat. Uh, I'm coming slowly to the, to the end. Więc I'm 80 years old. Więc zostawiam to budowanie dla was. So I leave the construction work for you. And if you succeed, people in the future would be grateful to me. A jak nie, to będą mnie przeklinać. And if you fail to be, build something better, then they will be cursing Żadne you. Pokolenie nie miało takiej szansy, jak nam się zdarzyło. No generation had such a chance as was given to our generation. Na pokój, na rozwój, na dobrobyt. We have a chance for peace, for development and for wealth, tylko, re, real welfare. Tylko dobrze, mądrze ludzie, odczytajcie szanse i zagrożenia. But you have to read the signs, the chances and the threats of the times. Brak jest takich umysłów do budowania. And we lack people with bright minds here like you. Do polityki trafiło w większości nieudacznicy. We lack them also in politics. Ale to przez was, że wy się nie, nie chcecie być. You don't want to be politicians yourselves, and that, that's why we have so many uh, failures as politicians. No chcą, and those are those that want to be politicians, yes? <laughs> Następny. Dear Mr. President, thank you for inspiring us. Um, in your time during the Solidarity Revolution, um, the workers in Poland had power through controlling the means of production. Um, 
Nowadays, the means of production are uh, mostly more and more mediated through digital technology and digital infrastructure. And these means of production are uh, more and more centralized and in the hands of a few uh, companies. So it seems like in order for us to um, have a chance at building a new future uh, with digital technology, we have to reclaim uh, those means of production. We have to have more influence on the digital infrastructure. So how do we build solidarities? What, can, what, what lessons do you have from building solidarity that we can use today to uh, reclaim um, control as a democracy, as a, as a continent, uh, over the infrastructure that are now l largely in the hands of, of non-European companies. W tej walce, którą ja toczyłem, pan jest dalej, jak ja wtedy byłem. Uh, in the fight that I was leading at my time, you are farther advanced right now. Pan już diagnozował. You have diagnosed already. Się pan teraz rozwiązać to. So now that you have diagnosed the problem correctly, Mówisz, pan, pan jest wy, wyżej w, w możliwościach, jak ja all, all that you have to do is now to take a next tak. step and try to solve that problem. Więc for yourself and for the others. Dokonajcie tej korekty, nie duża korekta potrzebna. Uh, you have to do that uh, small correction of everything. Bo, bo jeśli nie pan, and it's necessary. Bo jeśli nie pan mądry, no to żeby głup, głupszy. If you who are a wise person would not do that, then somebody who is less intelligent, less bright would do that. Jeśli pan, tu się różnimy praktyk i teoretyk. Here is the difference between uh, us, the practical man and the theoretician. Ja nie mam nic przeciwko teorii. I have nothing against the theory. Tylko ja wybieram w teorii to, co mi pasuje. But I pick up from the theories the elements that suit me. I to, co się da zrealizować. And what, what is possible to be done. A ja resztę odrzucam. And I reject all the rest. Ja się przyglądałem Marksowi, Leninowi. I have looked closely at Marx, at Lenin. Co za cholernie mądrzy ludzie. Uh, those were very wise men. Ale teoretycy. But they were theoreticians. Wymyślili rzecz słuszną, ale nie do zrealizowania. They have invented something that seemed to be just, but at the same time not practical, not possible I, to put into practice. I pan ma słuszną diagnozę, oraz jak to zrealizować. So your diagnosis is right? Now the question is, what to do practically with, it, with that? I drugie pytanie, kto się za to zabierze realizację? And the second question, who is going to put it into practice? Widzicie pan, praktycznie to jest proste. So you see, practically, it's very simple. A teoretycznie nie. In theory, it's not więc, so simple. <laughs> więc zejdź pan trochę na praktykę, a panu uda się dużo. So if you take one step down towards reality, towards practice, you would probably succeed in achieving quite a lot. Następne. Yeah, we, we're running out of time. One last question. Maraj. Ostatnie pytanie. Tak źle wyglądam, że ostatnie? Do I look as bad as to have did as a last question? <laughs> I always learn the discussion never ends. <laughs> and we, 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 we can go on uh, uh, with that. Well, when, when we look at what we are doing here, we have a lot of digital government researchers and often they look at one of the aspects. Eh? Several people look at in secure information sharing, order at data wallets, order at trust. And it's quite fragmented. And fragmentation is uh, fine, but at the other hand, we want to have one overall infrastructure. I remember at the beginning you mentioned we have to look at our values, eh? what we are uh, looking for. 
what should we do as researchers to come together and to contribute to this vision? Because we all want to make the world better. We educate for that, we research to that. But the complete few, what should we do with the complete few? How to move to a digital, democratic uh, society? Again, an, another Nobel Prize, if I knew what's the correct answer to that. You are closer to the solution. You are closer to the solution because, again, you have presented it in a very precise manner. And now you have to do the next step. Who can put it into the right uh, sequence of things to be done? Because we can say that all the di digital uh, theory and practice generally serves people, but sometimes it acts against the people. It's great that we have those digital systems. The question is how to put them, them into the working in such a way as they would all serve that improvement of the world. Each generation has its own problems and its own solutions. My mamy nowe, we have quite new solutions that were non-existing in the I past. And this is the development of the world. And that's what I told you. You have to teach people how they what are the challenges they face and what are their opportunities. And that's something that schools in the world, around the world, do not teach anyone. And they should be teaching. During my fight, all the theoreticians kept telling me, you don't have a chance. Only nuclear war can change things. And in practice, you see, the practical man can actually find a solution. And the world right now is fighting in such a <coughs> traditional way with tanks. Zapomniał walkę solidarności. They have kind of forgotten Wrócił kind of do starych metod. We have gone back to the past. We are again fighting the traditional war instead of fighting. Ale znów, to, to jest wasza wina, bo wy się nie włączacie tak bardzo. And it's all your fault because you are not joining the Potrzeba fight. Trzeba jest takiej mądrości, waszej mądrości do tego świata, który buduje się teraz. Your wisdom you yourself are needed for the, to, im, to implement the change in the world. When I had something more to say in the world, I kept asking, join in, unite in that fight for the better world. Nie mogłem was namówić. And I couldn't Więc make teraz próbuję, join. Teraz próbuję. So I'm trying to do Bo it right widzę now. Taką szansę przed tym pokoleniem. Because I see such a chance Tylko, looming Tylko, of that generation. tylko powtórzę, że wam się chciało chcieć. But I would again appeal that you would use all your willpower and determination into action. Amen. 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 <laughs> Mr. President, you encouraged me to ask one more question after the last question. I, I will take the power of the chairman to ask question myself. I will ask it in English and in Polish. Okay? So, Mr. President, what suggestions would you have for societies that are fighting to maintain democracy in the face of autocratic forces taking over subsequent institutions? Jakie sugestie miałby pan prezydent dla społeczeństw, które walczą o utrzymanie demokracji w obliczu przejmowania kolejnych instytucji przez siły autokratyczne? Chyba zacząć od tego, od czego ja zaczynałem. We have to start from the from that from which I was starting. Nie mogłem zmierzyć 
demokracji. I couldn't measure democracy. Jeździłem po świecie, mówię, wielka demokracja w jakimś kraju. Ja patrzę, tam nie ma demokracji. Uh, I was traveling around the world and they kept telling me it's a very democratic country and I have seen no democracy there. Jako elektryk wymyślałem wzór na, na mierzenie demokracji. So as an electrician I have constructed my own formula for measuring jeśli, democracy. Jeśli u nas dobry, bo jeśli chcę budować demokrację czy walczyć do demokracji, to na tym wzorze widać, co mam robić. And it's practical because on that you can see what you can change to improve democracy. Demokrację podzieliłem na trzy, na trzy części. I have divided democracy into three spheres. Po 30%, każda 10 na rozkusz. Three uh, parts, 30% of democracy in each one and 10% for all the rest. W demokracji 30% pierwsze to są konstytucje i prawa wszelkie w każdym państwie. In the democracy, first 30% are constructed by the constitution and all the other parts of the legal system. I dobre albo złe. And it could be bad or good. Drugie 30% jest, czy, czy społeczeństwo biorą to i uprawiają te and prawa. The, the next 30% is whether the society is actually using and exerting their rights according to the constitution I, and the legal system. Trzecie, czekowej, and the third part, third thirty percent, is the wealth of the society. How uh, wide is their uh, set of money? How much they have? I popatrzę, jak, jak mierzę w demokrację w Polsce. And look how it works on the example of Poland. Mimo wszystko te 30% prawa konstytucja jeszcze w Polsce jest. Despite some problems, we still have the constitution and legal system in Poland. So we have that 30%. Psują, ale zaliczam jeszcze 30%. They are trying to destroy it, they are introducing some small negative changes, yet still we have a constitution and a legal Zachowanie społeczeństwa niedobrze, najwyżej 50% chodzi na wybory. But the society is not really using that system for their own benefit and only about half of the people goes to the elections, so I would say that that participation is just 15%, so 45% of democracy so far. 30, 15, so it's 45% of democracy. Jeśli chodzi o grubość książeczki, to tylko 5% społeczeństwa może się postawić, może walczyć, reszta za biedna. And if you look at the third aspect, only 5% of Polish society is rich enough to be able to stand up against the government, which means and the rest is just too poor to protest. Well, that means that we have only 50% of democracy. I, i, I pan pytał, jak, jak walczy o demokrację. No, zobaczysz, który element nie działa albo źle działa. Od czego zacząć? Uh, so, if you ask what, have to, what has to be done, we have to look which elements are not working and try to improve them. Czy prawa poprawiać, walczyć o prawa? Uh, do we have to improve the laws, the legal system, fight for rights? Czy zachęcić społeczeństwo, lub jeszcze do roboty? Or do we have to encourage the society to take action, to stand up? Czy rozumieć, że jest nie, nie da rady, nie, nie stać społeczeństwa na demokrację? Or to understand that the society can't do that, can't do that because they are too weak, they are too poor for democracy. Najgorzej mi było zmierzyć demokrację w Stanach Zjednoczonych. It was most difficult to measure democracy in the United States of America. Ale też zmierzyłem. But I've measured it. Jeździłem często na, na występy w Stanach. I quite often went to some events in the United States of America. Więc zadawałem takie pytania Amerykanom. <coughs> so I asked Americans such questions. Szczególnie studentom. Especially the students. Czy I wiecie, asked gdzie that. Polska leży? Do you know where Poland is? Nie dużo wiedziało. Not many of them knew. Drugie pytanie. Słuchajcie, ja słyszałem, że u was jest demokracja. 
And the second question, I've heard you have democracy in the United Jest States. Jest demokracja? Do you have democracy? Jest. No, to ja zawiążę do Polski. Yes, so I can take that version of democracy to Poland. Ale z tej demokracji rozumie, że każdy z was może być prezydentem w Stanach. So from that democratic system in the States, I understand each one of you can be the president of the United States. No, to fajnie. That's great. Ale słyszałem, że jak kto chce kandydować, to musi mieć na wstępie 100 milionów dolarów. But I've heard that if you want to be presidential candidate, you need about 100 million dollars. Kto z was ma? Uh, who in that hall of students who has 100 million dollars? So nikt nie ma. No one. Nikt z was nie może być prezydentem. So none of us could really become the president. Chcą mnie pobić za to. They almost wanted to beat me up for that. Ja chwileczkę, chwileczkę. Just a minute. U was jest demokracja, ale nie w tym miejscu. So you have democracy in the United States, but not in that aspect, not każdy, in that place. Każdy kapitalista walczy o wszelkiego typu prawa. Uh, each capitalist, each owner fights for all kinds of laws. A w moim kraju nie ma kapitalistów. And in my country we don't have kapitalistów. To muszę założyć co najmniej 100 partii politycznych, by to wyrównać. So I have to establish at least 100 political parties to make even for that. Darowali mi to. So przykład. they sort of uh, let me be with my opinions on uh, American democracy. Ha. Szanowni Państwo, z tego co wiem, to kończymy. As far as I know, we are coming to the Dziękuję, end. Dziękuję, że wytrzymali, wytrzymaliście to nudne spotkanie. Thank you for staying till the end of that boring meeting. Jeśli cokolwiek wam się przyda, z tego oddaję wam. If you can use any of what we were talking about, it's all for you. A jeśli się nic nie przyda, no to straciliście godzinę z życia swojego And prywatnego. if you can't use any of that, then you have just lost about an hour of your lifetime. Przyjemnych obrad. <laughs> have a nice meeting, a nice conference. Thank you.